If you've never grown anything in your life before, this video is for you. Today I'm going to show you how to winter sow salad greens. Let me introduce you to winter sowing in milk jugs. So for today's project, all you will need is a empty rinsed out milk jug, a four liter, and you will need some salad greens of your choice. I'm going to be using a couple varieties of lettuce, actually three varieties of lettuce and a variety of spinach today. You will also need a good old fashioned roll of duct tape for your project. You are also going to need an X-Acto knife or any cutting tool that you're very comfortable using. You are going to need a seed starting mix of any variety, doesn't matter what brand. Just a regular potting mix isn't recommended because you want something that's very light and airy. You're going to have a much better germination if you use a light airy seed starting mix than if you just use a potting mix or soil from your backyard. Definitely get a seed starting mix. You may want to use some vermiculite. I will be using some. It's not required, but you're less likely to get any problems with algae, moss, or any other moldy growths if you use vermiculite. Required, but I'm going to be adding kelp meal to my potting, my seed starting mix. This is by the company Gia Green. It is 100% organic and a great amendment for your garden or your seed starting. Anything that's high in nitrogen is generally a good thing to add to uh, seed starting, especially if you're growing greens. Greens love nitrogen. First, you're going to want to take your X-Acto knife and create some drainage holes in the bottom of your milk jug. I'm going to want to make several good drainage holes, whether they're slits or actual holes, just make sure that uh, there's going to be a good escape route for the water that gets in here. Next we are going to create an incision midway down the milk jug for our planter essentially. So take your trusty X-Acto knife and cut right into that milk jug. Usually below the handle is a good place to cut. So here is the new milk jug planter that you have just created with your cuts. Next, we are going to use our seed starting mix and fill up our milk jug not completely, but about, I'd say about three quarters, just over half of the milk jug. This is about how much seed starting mix I have in there. And now I am going to mix in some kelp meal to give this pot a good start when the seedlings start growing. This is what kelp meal looks like. It's kind of a granular substance that so we're just going to put in two or three handfuls and mix it into the seed starting mix. And next we are going to add our seeds. This one I am going to plant my Outrageous Lettuce by my favorite seed company, Baker Creek Seeds. Lettuce seeds overall are sort of small to medium sized. I don't know if the camera's picking them up. I'm not going to worry much about spacing these. We can always thin them out. I'm going to just scatter them 
spacing them out as much as possible but again I'm not worrying about the spacing too much because these can easily be thinned once they sprout. We're just going to get them into the seed starting mix and then you want to cover them up and for best results you want to add some vermiculite. Vermiculite is a uh, kind of a light airy granular material if you've never seen it before. We're gonna just sprinkle it right on top of our seed starting mix. Give it a good covering and then we can just give our little seed a very light watering. If you live in the Pacific Northwest or any other rainy climate, this container that we're doing is going outside. This is going to be a permanent outside container. And where I live on Vancouver Island, we get a lot of rain. So I won't have to water this probably at all from the time I put it outside until we start harvesting. We can harvest from the milk jug or we can transplant into the vegetable garden, get bigger heads and harvest from the vegetable garden and require pretty much no water once it's once it's in here because we live in a very wet climate probably most of western canada and parts of western usa are similar excluding california so now we are going to put our trusty duct tape around the milk jug and close it up I'm going to label it with a sharpie lettuce we're gonna call it outrageous and red. Now this Sharpie may wear off. I found last growing season that did happen after a period of time. Although it's a permanent marker, your better bet is to get a garden marker. I don't have one yet, so I'm using a regular Sharpie. But if you have a garden marker, the labels will likely stay on much better, maybe all season versus just a short time with a regular permanent marker. And the only other step is to put this outside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with my other lettuce and spinach seedlings. And I will meet you outside and show, the re show you where they're going to go when we're finished. So here is our, what was the secret garden this year, our side yard. And this is where my milk jug seedling planters are going to be living for their life for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs. Please give it a thumbs up and we will see you very soon with another video. Have a good day.